Hello and welcome to this quick video and this is by a popular request of people wanting to be able to see how the actual aim dash works while you're driving around in the game itself. And so this video shows an aim MXP Strada connected to iRacing um, and with uh, me driving an MX5 Cup around Silverstone National. What I've done is I've deliberately slowed on a couple of laps to be able to show how things like the predictive uh, lap timer, which has been uh, sort of a converted shift light module, work in relation to giving the information you need to be able to enhance that experience. And so enjoy this video uh, and let me know what you think. Before we get into the in-game uh, demonstration with the dash, I thought I'd just show you what the configuration looks like. So right here I'm in Race Studio 3 and I've got all of these different vehicles that I use in terms of configurations. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up the MX-5 because that's what we're using and I'll use it to be able to demonstrate what you're about to see on screen. And so just to show you the display setup here, I have it so that I can see gear, RPM, speed, the lap number, fuel left, lap time and predictive. I also have a number of laps that are remaining in the session. Now, if this is practice, which you'll see, that's usually in the uh, tens of thousands. And I think that's just a default from iRacing. And so this is the configuration. There is a video that talks about how to be able to configure your dash. Uh, and I'll put a link in the uh, description box below to be able to find that uh, particular video. The last thing I did want to show quickly before we get into the in-car is the fact that I also have a um, shift light module that's been added to uh, my configuration and changed into a predictive lap timer. And so you can see that I have it attached here. I've used it as a predictive lap time, so it's plus minus the best time that the um, system has recorded for the lap. And I've got it in increments of 0 0.05. So every time one of these LED illuminates green, I'm 0 0.05 faster. Every time one of these illuminates red, I'm 0 0.05 slower. And that will ebb and flow throughout the lap. And so enjoy this demonstration. And hopefully this quick intro will give context to what you're about to see on screen. Thanks so much for watching this quick video. Hopefully it was useful for you to be able to see how the dash works in the simulator. If you've got any comments, please uh, drop them in the box below. And if you want to be able to see more, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. With that, it just leaves me to say thanks so much for watching.